Hello, welcome back to Friday Fun. My name is Christine. I'm an ABA DSW here at the center. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a sensory bin with rice and food coloring. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a little science experiment with dish soap, food coloring, and milk. So let's get started. Okay, so for your sensory bin, you're gonna need some white rice, some vinegar, some food coloring, um, a Ziploc bag, or you can use like an empty margarine um, container or any, any container. Um, some measuring cups, and then a large container to put your rice in to make your sensory bin. So you want to do this step with whatever colors you want to use in your sensory bin. I wanted to make a rainbow sensory bin, so I use red, orange, yellow, green, purple, and blue. Um, but I know that most food coloring only come, comes with like the main colors, so I mixed um, red and yellow to make orange, and then I mixed red and blue to make purple. So for each color, um, I'm using one cup of rice and then one tablespoon of vinegar. But if you want to make more of like the of the color, you would want to double the measurements. So to start, I'm going to open my Ziploc bag, pour my rice in, and then I'm going to get my vinegar. I want one tablespoon. I'm going to pour that in. And then depending on the color you want, you would just pour several drops of the food coloring in. Oops. And then make sure that you zip it up very tight so that no rice comes out. And you just wanna give it a good, good shaking. do this step for each color um, that you want in your sensory bin and then once when you have all the colors mixed um, you can put it on a tray and then leave it outside to dry for a few hours. Okay so while your rice is drying I'm going to show you how to do a fun and quick um, experiment called marbled milk. So the first thing you're going to need is milk. I'm just using um, regular cow's milk, but you can use almond milk as well. It works just as well. And then you're going to need um, a tray, um, some dish soap, and then a little container for your dish soap, um, some cotton swabs, or you can use a toothpick, um, food coloring, scissors, and then um, a writing utensil on paper. I'm just using regular printer paper, but um, watercolor paper or cardstock paper will work better and hold the color better but I'm just using the regular because that's all I have right now. First, you want to put your tray onto the paper and then just trace around it. So when you dip your paper in that it fits properly. And then after you have it traced, you just want to cut it out. Okay, so begin with pouring your milk into the pan. And then you want to just pour a little bit of dish soap into your container. Okay, so the next step is taking your food coloring and um, sprinkling it into the pan. And then after you have all your food coloring in your pan, you're going to want to take your Q-tip and dip it into dish soap. And then you want to um, dip it into your pan. Just watch it go. And then you can even use your Q-tip and swirl it around um, to how you want it to look on your paper. And then once when you're satisfied with the way it looks, you want to take your paper and quickly dip it into your pan. And then lift it up and you want to put it on somewhere to dry. So I'm just using a plastic bag um, to let mine dry. So here's what the marbled milk looks like when it's dried. As you can see, 
The colors didn't hold quite as well as I wanted it to just because I was using printer paper, but if you use cardstock or um, watercolor paper, the color will hold a lot better. Okay, so once when all your rice is dry, you're just going to want to put all the pieces together. Um, and the reason why you want to let it dry is just so that the dye doesn't go on your hands. So you want to take your container and then I want kind of like a rainbow effect. So I'm going to take my red first. I'm gonna pour it in. And then I'm gonna take my orange. And then I'm gonna get my yellow. And then purple. And then once when you have it all in your bin, you can go ahead and mix it up. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like when it's finished. I just put pom-poms in it, but you can basically put anything to make it more fun, such as plastic animals, magnetic letters, toy cars, or blocks, or basically anything.